Bitcoin Core is a reference client of Bitcoin. Initially, the software was published by Satoshi Nakamoto under the name Bitcoin, then Bitcoin Qt and later renamed to Bitcoin Core. It is also known as the Satoshi Client. It is a full client used by Bitcoin nodes that create the Bitcoin network. Through the changes to Bitcoin Core, its developers make changes to the underlying Bitcoin protocol. As of 2017, Bitcoin Core repositories are maintained by Latimer J. van der Laan. The MIT Digital Currency Initiative funds some of development of Bitcoin Core. The project also maintains the cryptography library Libsec 256K1 and others located at Javub. In August 2016, a warning was issued regarding the software being targeted by state-sponsored attackers. The Bitcoin Foundation also warns that running the software may attract attacks which limit available download bandwidth. It includes a transaction verification engine and connects to the Bitcoin network as a full node. Moreover, a wallet, which can be used to transfer funds, is included by default. The wallet allows for the sending and receiving of bitcoins. It does not facilitate the buying or selling of bitcoin. It allows users to generate QR codes to receive payment. The software validates the entire blockchain, which includes all bitcoin transactions ever. This distributed ledger which has reached more than 110 gigabytes in size must be downloaded or synchronized before full participation of the client may occur. A command line based daemon with a SNAR PC interface, Bitcoin, is bundled with Bitcoin Core. It provides access to Testnet, a global testing environment that imitates the Bitcoin main network or mainnet. It uses an alternative blockchain where real Bitcoin are not used and the blockchain cannot be adversely affected. Rectist or regression test mode creates a private blockchain which is used as a local testing environment. Bitcoin CLI is a third program included. It allows users to send RPC commands to Bitcoin. Checkpoints have been hard-coded into the client. These maintain data integrity by keeping a part of the blockchain data in the source code where it is able to be compared to the blockchain when its downloading is complete. A 1 megabyte block size limit was added in 2010 by Satoshi Nakamoto as a temporary anti-spam measure. This limited the maximum network capacity to about 3 transactions per second. Since then, some minor changes to the software have improved network capacity incrementally. A network alert system was included by Satoshi Nakamoto as a way of informing users of important news regarding Bitcoin. In November 2016 it was retired. It had become obsolete as news on Bitcoin is now widely disseminated. Miners are able to signal their decision on the incorporation of new features by voting. A powerful scripting language is used to define transactions. This fourth-like language is part of one of three distinct application programming interfaces. It can enable various transaction parameters. The script uses reverse Polish notation for validation. Script PubKey is used to lock transactions based on a set of future conditions. Script SIG is used to meet these conditions or unlock a transaction. Operations on the data are performed by various op underscore codes. Two stacks are used, main and alt. Looping is forbidden. The original creator of the Bitcoin client has described their approach to the software's authorship as it being written first to prove to themselves that the concept of purely peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash was valid and that a paper with solutions could be written. While the majority of peers on the network may use Bitcoin Core, the developer's influence on Bitcoin is limited by the choice of which implementation people voluntarily decide to use. The lead developer is Latimer J. van der Laan, who took over the role on 8 April 2014. Gavin Andreessen was the former lead maintainer for the software client. Andreessen left the role of lead developer for Bitcoin to work on the strategic development of its technology. He left because he didn't want to get involved with trivial decision making. The code was originally stored at Sourceforg before being available on Jithub. Because there is no formal structure, development is based around Bitcoin improvement proposals or BIPs.
which are similar to request for comments. Public mailing lists are used to vet initial expressions of ideas. If enough support is displayed a BIP document is written. This is the standard for sharing ideas and gaining community feedback on improving Bitcoin and was initiated by Amir Taki in 2011. The roadmap for the client includes data link layer solutions for scalability. Core developers view Bitcoin as a settlement layer. Bitcoin Core is one of several full node client implementations that are actively deployed. Alternatives include Bitcoin XT, Bitcoin Classic and Bitcoin Unlimited. All are derived from Bitcoin Core and contain implementation of hard fork proposals. These software forks allow Bitcoin miners to demonstrate their vote on the direction of Bitcoin's development. Core developers prefer to gradually, not rapidly enlarge Bitcoin's transaction handling capabilities. Core developers believe in the premise that barriers to running a full node should be kept low as possible so that the blockchain layer at the very lowest level remains highly decentralized. Core has reputation for tending for being risk-averse. This is demonstrated by the reluctance of core developers to increase the network's ability to process transactions.